All right, so shall we get to work on this uh, critique here? As a reminder, I'd be happy to. feel free to throw us art to critique because uh, we only got one today. We are, we're feeling exceptionally happy. I mean, not happy. We're feeling awesome. Wait, no. We're feeling like we can definitely do the eggy. Yeah. <laughs> That's our response. Definitely. <laughs> we're feeling we can... Well, the, the pony's feeling pretty ang angry, though, so... It's mixed feelings. This is Stranger Source's face after I called him out for being an enemy. He knows. He knows what he did. That thing with the cupcake. He knows. Did he bring me cupcakes? No. I'll forgive him if he brings me cupcakes. <laughs> Are you trying to elicit bribes out of our users? We only of have course. so many. <laughs> Listen, he's he's not just a user, he's a mod, so I can abuse that bribery even more. Ooh. It's not just a user. No. <laughs> it's a mod. I see how it is, Ellie. You know, no. Yeah. Alright, so I gotta say, this is some really nice facial exp expression going on. Yeah. I'm a big fan. Big fan. And the fact that we have all their under sketching makes my life wonderful. Mm hmm. We can already see they applied the good old markdowns. So that makes me happy. Give it a little bit back of the neck. Did you just make it fluff, fluffy? Because fluff is great. <laughs> and it did. Fluff. I've been practicing my fluff lately, so uh, gotta make it all fluff, no matter what. No, it needs to be to be spooky tonight. <laughs> it's okay. pretty spooky with how angry it is. We aren't trying to vandalize the picture. <laughs> That's for later. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really don't have much to say. This is this is a pretty nice sketch. To push it further, I mean, I would play with the hair more. Um, I'm gonna assume this is Angry Twilight, like her flame, flame of angriness. The mane looks all wrong to be Twilight. Hmm. Twilight has the very clean cut mane, well. even when she goes full rage mode. Well, no, but remember when she her head just turned into flames. Oh yeah, but the back, the back isn't the, flames like over here. True. The ponytail memes. All right, let's see. What can we suggest? What can we suggest? I like the stylization, the ears, the little pointy ears. They're pretty cute, and the way they made the depth by just adding adding those lap overlap lines. Pretty nifty. The, the glaring of the teeth is a little bit too much, if you ask me, with the with the way the eyebrows are curved down. Which, yeah, I'm going to steal a blue here. So they're turned down very angry. I have covered over them slightly. I apologize. But uh, they're turned down, made to look angry. But then with this glare that's added on, because of the curved up mouth, it almost looks like they're angry at a dentist kind of thing. <laughs> well, I mean, the dentist probably got angry at them with that grinding problem. Grinding the teeth so much. So I... Hey! <laughs> yeah. Dang it out. <laughs> anyway. I think I would just turn down the muzzle a bit here. Turn down the glare. Leave it still sharp, but sort of lessen lessen the curve up towards the top and definitely keep with the big angry eyes if you add a little bit under too a little bit of a curve under more angry because bigger is always better in drawing right or at least in cartoons gotta over exaggerate so now you'll see this hilarious green horn that I've drawn on. I just altered the angle of the horn a bit. Uh, the horn comes out at a 45 degree angle from the skull. 
So if you look sideways, we get this. Whoa, we'll call that a circle today. So right off 45 on this red color, salmony color here, we get Horny McHorn. You can see 45. How you can sort of guesstimate that is it will be one third or half of the way down that top curve. So if we split it into four sections, we have the top up here. I'm gonna do this in yeah in greeny yellow. Why not? So that would be one quarter distance here, and somewhere between there, matching the angle of that circle we drew, the sphere, we have our horn and where it sits. And it's magical. There's other ways of doing it. We we also show a method of drawing lines all through it. But if you want to make it dead simple, just just go halfway down that first chunk. Or one quarter if you want to count the entire head. Whatever you want to do. I'm not your mother. Maybe. Hopefully not. You'd have a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, so would the doctors. <laughs> How did a man from Canada give birth to this child? Same way Floor 5 was born. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, um... I'll just do a quick talk. What I did, because, like, I really do like what you're going on with the, the picture. And what I mainly did was I kind of swooshed with the flame a little more. Because, to me, like, the, the way you sketch this out, it really feels, like, super flamey, like... Not super saying spiky, but, like, you know, we got some flame head going on. Got some real angry horsies going down. <laughs> Um, so what I did was kind of, I loosened it up, and I, I have a picture of, uh, of, like, a fire next to me, and I was kind of looking, like, okay, so, like, kind of, like, if we're having hair, so we have to treat it like it's connected to a point, so, like, how would the hair swoosh up and go upwards? Like, flame likes to go up, so how would I like to push this up? How would I like to, to floof this out? Even, even the hair you have down on the side here, I kind of thought, like, oh, what if that started to curl up a little bit, too, push its, you know, self down and up and kind of going crazy it's you know flame it's uncontrolled flowiness i also went through and like I i'm not sure what type of bang style this horse has if it's like a twilight bang or like applejack with her full head of hair just going forward or what have you but you know you can do some simple overlap like i have going here with the horn so it catches and then boom 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 get the the, the front portion where the bangs are, how it connects to the head. You know, maybe it overlaps the ear a smidgen. And we got this air we gotta do both sides of course behind it. And then also, you know, think about it in layers, because hair has a few layers going on. So we got we gotta treat it like fire yet like hair at the same time. So you know push 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 from, you know, in the middle. Don't just do an outline sort of a thing. Kind of get some stuff going in the middle too. That's where I say you could push your hair next. If you wanted to attempt this again or what have you. Whatever your heart's desire. Yeah. That's my two cents on making it more of a flame flame head. Dang. Now I want to draw fire. That's pretty nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> references. References are your best friend. So you started, <laughs> you started a fire on your desk and just drew it before it burned out? Yeah, pretty much, you know. Oh, she probably set one of the uh, plushies on fire. No! Like, I would had... never! How <laughs> <I> dare you! <laughs> Plus, they're made of mostly plastic, so they'd be gone in like 12 oh, seconds. Okay. <laughs> yeah. They, they, I don't know how much they'd burn, but they could melt. I mean, it's all synthetic fabric. They... They aren't allowed to be used because of their burn risk. Like, yeah. <laughs> they won't be allowed to be mass produced. I was produced. going to say, that's pretty risky if they burn so easy and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of fire retardants that we put on modern toys that are sold in stores. Like mm -hmm. your teddy bear. It doesn't burn easily because it has a lot of fire retardant put onto it. A teddy bear alley would make she'd source the material herself and wouldn't have all the fire retardant on it because it's unneeded. Exactly. So yeah. it's gonna go up, but it's gonna be so snuggly. <laughs> Their softness. It's filled with softness and love. 
All right, so that's the last picture of art we have to do. <laughs> Anyone got any other they'd like critiqued? Any questions they'd like to ask? Um, if not, for now, at least we're going to hop to the Aggie until someone has something to throw at us. How does that sound, Allie? I'm good with that. We can Aggie. Aggie till we drop. <laughs> I really love, love them. They just look so good. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a costume. When BFC and Stranger Source draw together, it just makes me so happy. Yeah, but more people should draw on uh, Aggie. You should draw with us. Yes. Maybe I'll do it. I'm just thinking of something of a costume I'm going to do. A pony. In a pony costume. Pony costumes are now canon. <laughs> <laughs> in the last uh in the you last mean edition. A changeling in a pony costume. No, I mean a pony in a pony costume. Sorry. Those Pinkie Pie the Oh yeah, Pinkie Pie did it well earlier, but uh, in the latest right. edition of the comic book, the main series of the comic book, it has the princesses as costumes, <laughs> and it even shows oh, a little filly wearing a Twilight Sparkle costume, and it looks so adorable. Oh, great! That's that's really cute. Oh, is someone not so spooky? It's, it's someone fluffy. It's a fluffy guy joining hey. us. Hey! Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Way, we don't mind you all talking right now, because we, we got no art to do. So we're all really, done. nothing. Well, we're technically recording this at this time, and it's live. Just don't swear. <laughs> yes, please. We'll be happy. Don't be a we butt. We got just one submission. Just one. Well, if you go on the subreddit, there's a few submissions. Uh, we've decided not to do bow to your waifus, and we've decided not to do Aurelia's, because they have got a vast amount of critique from the sub or from the Discord, the Discord. already, mm -hmm. and we right. feel we can't add anything to the discussion for it. Makes sense. Now, now you witness the glory of me drawing without a tablet. You guys in the Aggie? Yep, we're in the Aggie. Okay, I better load up edge then. Maybe I'm just going with the flow. No edge for me. Hardcore life. Well, you know, if you join Caps, you could get yourself a Wacom tablet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, there's some uh, advertising right there. Yeah. But remember, I think, I think everyone... my uh, my chances of winning are quite low on that. Your chances are infinitely better if you do at least one thing in caps. So critiquing, one. critiquing gets you things. I'm not quite sure how it works, but he'll deal with it later. Uh, your submissions, you need to make three submissions in a week to get a... Four. Four? Is it four? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was three if you're also mixing it with Inktober. Yes. But the, you need to make them mesh in a sane way, and that's difficult for some of these. But it's fine. Yeah, I've only pulled off two like that. <laughs> does Inktober have different prompts? It does. Yep. If you do the question mark Inktober, um, it'll go to the official website and you scroll down. There's the official list of this year's prompts. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to participate in Inktober because I don't know how to ink stuff. Uh, uh, ink stuff. Well, um, that's either. the point. You learn by doing. I'll learn, but I, I want to like... Get good pens. I just want to get a fountain pen because they're fancy. Don't get a fountain pen. Go for a brush pen. You don't. It's infinitely. That yeah. was my mistake last year. Uh, I picked up dip pens because I'm like, hey, inking. I'm gonna go all the way back in time now, and um, yeah, I regret uh, every decision about that. <laughs> I mean, brush hey, pens. pens. Brush pens are pretty magical. The consistency you get from brush pens. Are just so worth it at, mm -hmm. for for the learning aspect alone. 
how to deal with ink on paper. Then you can go to all sorts of fancy mediums. Like I still use my dip pens. I, I also use them with a paintbrush. Uh, it's a cheaper design of the Winsor Newton 5, which is that really like $400 brush that was got all sorts of famous because what's his face who does Calvin and Hobbes used it. Mm-hmm. Oh. That was, he basically did almost all of his art with one brush. Short of the water coloring. Yeah. Yeah. If y'all are interested in studying some ink work, seriously, go check out Calvin and Hobbes stuff. He's great. Also, if you want to study watercolor, because his use of layered watercolors. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. And minimalistic building of environments is cool, too. He lets the reader pretend that, or he, he allows the person viewing the art to be intelligent. Um, they get to make up their own sort of area around it. They're able to look at it and, and get what's implied by the rest of it. And where's the Aggie link? The Eggy Link is being thrown at your face at high speeds. Hold on! We should, we should uh, throw it in the Discord as well. It's tossed in art. Awesome. Uh, that one thousand ping. Just, uh... Learn to accept the ping. <laughs> I'm just going with the flow at this point. My little derp filly down here is gonna be, it's gonna be a thing. I thought it was little Pip when you started. I I thought I was gonna do something too. It just ended up being small and feel like so. Going with it. No pressure, sense to do no nothing. Let's do this. You're doing a very very good job. Well, thank you kindly. I'm trying not to like worry about that do it have fun with art you know just do it that's what, that's what the most important thing with art is just have fun with it sure learning is hard and sure there's time to take it seriously and have you know good discussions about it but okay firefox didn't crash i'm fine <laughs> maybe i can just make this scootaloo like baby scootaloo or something There's an important song for you to listen to right now, Allie. Oh, yeah? I'm throwing it into voice chat. It's the most important song while talking about happiness in art. Oh, is it Bob Ross? Yeah! Fuck oh, that. God. Uh, the song. The song is so good. I wonder who they got to remix it. It's the I same guy who did the Carl Sagan one. Carl Sagan, sorry. So is Pogo? Yeah. Oh man, really? That's awesome. I listen to your drawing, that's good. I think my favorite song from Pogo is Upular though. I think that was what it's called. Pogo. Yes, it was Upular. Well before popular. <laughs> there you go. It's great. Trust me. Now you're going to have catchy tunes stuck in your head. Beautiful. Always go for that. <laughs> Is that a paper tube horn? It's going to cosplay as an as a unicorn, even though it's an earth horse. Or cosplay. Go out as Halloween, wow. Things really change when you're an adult. Like, you don't think costumes, you think cosplay. Uh, I think that's because you're stuck on uh, Lunarix vision here. Probably. You're just so excited to see him in a costume. <laughs> Listen, we got his astronaut helmet, and he we're going to make signs that are like, looking for my waifu. Just okay. so he can hold them up so he never speaks? Yeah, oh, so you can hold beautiful. him up, 
and then take pictures with all the Luna and then make fun of all the Celestia. Well, not make fun of, but you know, jokingly. I don't like you, Celestia. Where's your sister? <laughs> Man, he should have. You should quickly try and make him a, f a new Lunar Empire badge. <laughs> I should slap that on his helmet, cover up NASA. Well, I mean, your sewing machine automatically sews stuff, doesn't it? Well, I have to design it first. Can't you import pre made designs? I can, but they usually don't work out so well. Alright. Yeah, even if I have like a vectored image, I still have to like go through and re vector it practically. But vectoring it with stitches instead of line mathematics. Um, apparently I'm drawing in nothing. Oops. Sorry, Allie. How dare you! Wanted to find what layer I was on so I could place mine behind yours. <laughs> I think you're way down there. Yeah, here we go. I'm on layer three. I'm gonna put little like stars on the paper tube because they glued glitter to it to pretend they have magic. Uh, are you sure this just isn't just this just isn't you designing a costume for yourself? <laughs> 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 I'm a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> we all know Ali's a, a, a pretty princess. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty princess. 